This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Um, we have some Canada loads. We pay extra on those. You get $100 extra if you cross the border that way. Um, my my over-the-road group, I don't think, is hiring out in your area now. Let me look real quick because we just changed some of our hiring maps. Let's see. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at system transport out of Spokane, Washington. Yes, uh, Spokane, Washington, state of over in the left corner of the world. You guys can have that, pretty much. Hopefully, I don't have to go up there that much. If I'm over here in the regional area, I'm going to stay down here. Probably might have to go up there every once in a while, maybe get a new truck or something like that. I don't know, but Spokane, Washington System Transport is the West region's number one flatbed carrier. And yes, they are looking for you, driver. If you're a new driver coming out of school, they're looking for you. If you're a flatbed driver that got some experience, they are looking for you. And if you're a driver that's interested in getting into flatbed and don't have no experience, they are looking for you. They offer big company resources with a family feel. Their truck drivers have home time if you're regional. And if you're over the road, you still get plenty of rest. System transport. If you guys are interested in system transport, stay tuned. Uh, okay. How how much experience you guys are looking for? I mean, we hire even fresh out of driving school. I just am not hiring out in your area for recent grads. That's the only reason I was asking. So, but um, yeah, I mean, you don't even have to have any flatbed experience to do this. We have training for that at orientation too. So, you know, I mean, just tell me what you've got and I'll kind of give you an idea of what we can do. So for securement training, uh, during orientation, uh -huh. I would, I, I would get that. Like how long, I, if I don't have, uh, that much flatbed experience, uh, how much, uh, training you guys will put me through to, to make sure that I understand if, what I If you've been driving, like pulling dry van reefer, stuff like that. Um, and you, you haven't done much flatbed, we just do a four day orientation and two days of that you do your tarp and securement training at the yard. So it's all done during that four days. Uh, Pre-employment uh, drug screening, and how would you guys get me up to the orientation? We do that at orientation. That's the first day of orientation. And your orientation for the Midwest fleet, that would be in Kansas City. So we'll fly you in. We get you a private hotel room and breakfast and lunch are even provided for you. Uh, the drug screening, would that be hair follicles or urine or both? It's just a urine test. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? No, we don't. Uh, so this, for me being out of Cleveland, Ohio, I, I will be on the, on the Midwest region. Would I be able to get home every week? You would probably be home weekly on that. Yes. And I, I mean, there's, you know, a little possibilities in trucking. You might get delayed a little bit here or there. I might get in early. So usually they end up around the weekend if they're home, but you know, it just depends on the loads too. So. But would, they're usually home weekly on it. Would that be for my full two days or would it just be for a 34-hour reset? Well, you'll at least get your 34 hours because they want you to get that much in. And, and it depends on the loads, too. I mean, sometimes you might get an extra day out of it or sometimes, you know, you might just get like maybe 40 hours out of it. But, um, you know, it kind of just depends on the loads, really. But they, they usually get enough time in where they're like, they they usually get the two days in, but you know, like I said, trucking. You know, I mean, you've been driving a while, so I'm sure you kind of know what I mean. Um, now, being that you guys offer the regional for for me out of Ohio, but do you guys have uh, -huh. uh other lanes? Do you guys run Canada? Um, we have some Canada loads. We pay extra on those. You get a hundred dollars extra if you cross the border that way. Um, my 
My over the road group, I don't think is hiring out in your area now. Let me look real quick because we just changed some of our hiring maps. Let's see. Yeah, they're actually not hiring out in your area right now, um, but the but the regional is. I know it sounds weird, but it's that's just kind of how they're set up here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, but let me ask you this: If I do accept the regional, uh, uh -huh. would there be an opportunity later down the line for me to switch over to over the road if I want? Sure. As long as, as long as our over the road fleet manager would make a spot for you, then you could do that. You can move around within the company, just like if you move to another area of the country. You know, we may have a different regional there, or or you might want to jump into over the road. Right at this time, they aren't hiring up there for the over the road, but that doesn't mean we won't. And if you're already here, they may just go ahead and let you do it anyway. You know what I mean? Because you're here. What about out of Florida? Do you guys hire out of Florida? No, no, we sure don't. Um, all right, so mileage pay, uh, percentage, cent per mile. How much would I? How, how much would I get with my experience? Okay, so it's a sliding pay scale, and um, the shorter the run is, the higher the mileage pay gets. So it would range anywhere from fifty-nine to sixty-nine cents a mile, loaded and empty. And I can send you the pay package too, so that you can look it over. Um, if you want, I can actually text you a picture of it if you like. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. That way you'll have it and you can kind of take a quick peek at it yeah, and see what I, I'm talking about. Yeah, I can also share it with my Facebook group as well. Yeah, um, absolutely. But it has like a little chart in there and it tells you like how far the load goes, like how many miles across the top of the chart. And then you just look underneath and it'll tell you what the pay per mile is for that length of haul. And then um, when you're looking at the chart, there's three different levels of experience. Go by the one in the middle, because even though you don't have flatbed experience, like it asked for, you, we're still going to give you credit for your driving experience. So it'll be the middle level. And then in six months, you get a penny raise on all of it. And 12 months, you get another penny raise on all of it. So it goes up really fast the first year. And there's tarp pay and stop off pay and things like that, too. Now, being that this is a uh, uh, cent per mile uh, sliding scale, how are, the miles, right? how are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or is it practical miles? We use Rand McNally, um, Rand McNally tariff miles. I had to think for a second. So it's pretty close. You might be just a little long sometimes, a little short the other times, but it averages out pretty close on that one. Awesome. Uh, how many miles can I expect a week and are they consistent? I would say the regional is probably 25 to 2,800. Depends on how you run, but you know, I mean, if you, and you could like, go home every other week if you wanted and get some more miles in that way by staying out a little more. Um, you know, there's ways to do things. So. And I, my settlements are weekly. Weekly paid every Friday, direct deposit. Awesome. Um, all right. What kind of equipment you guys have and what are they governed at? They're 65 and we have late model Kenworths and they're nice. They're automatics. They have the inverters, they have refrigerators. They're set up really nice. The, they're um, like the average age of our trucks is only two and a half years. So they're pretty new. I never know. You might even yeah. get a new one. It just depends on what we've got ready to go. So we stay pretty full. So whatever truck is available is what they'll get you in uh, is what we have. So but they're always getting new ones in. Yeah. What, what about cameras? Only outward facing. Uh, the benefits you guys offer and when do they start? Mm -hmm. The first of the month after 60 days. And we have pretty much everything. Health, life, dental, vision, AFLAC, 401k, um, paid time off. So like when you hit your one-year mark, you get 10 days of PTO. So it's like getting two weeks of vacation time. But um, you can take that however you want over the year, just split it up or take it, you know, a big chunk of it at once or however, and you get paid whatever you've been averaging for your earnings. So say, say for example, you're averaging 1500 a week over the year, then that's what you get for your PTO time too. Awesome. Uh, what about pet and wider policy and how young can I bring my grandkids? Sure. So we do not have a pet policy, so that wouldn't work, but we do have a rider program and it's seven and over and there's no charge to get a rider pass through safety. Gotcha. 
Uh, what about team opportunities and lease and lease opportunities? Yeah, we have a lease purchase program. So you have to be a company driver for six months first. They want you to get in with the company and get to know us and the culture and everything here. Make sure this is where you want to be. And then if you want to do the lease, then you just get with the safety lady and she'll help you set that up. And then as far as the teams, we do have a few teams here. There's some dedicated freight that we do, and it pays extremely well. It's a dollar a mile to the truck. So dollar a mile, so that's 50 cents split between the drivers, right? Well, depends on how you want to say it. I say a dollar to the truck because then you're splitting that in half. So if you guys ran 5,000 miles, then you'd get 5,000 to the truck. So you get 2,500, your partner gets 2,500. Or you can say you're getting 50 cents a mile for all the miles that truck rolls. And they're, they're getting 50 cents a mile for all the, all the truck rolls. Awesome. Uh, as far as team goes, um, if I'm want to run teams, would you guys partner me up with someone or can I bring my we own team? We don't. In? Yeah, we don't make you team up with somebody here because we just really don't set it up because it doesn't typically work out like that um, because you don't know the other person. But if you have a partner, you know, then later on you wanted to team up, you guys could talk to them about doing that as long as they qualify and go through orientation and everything too. And you might find somebody here that, you know, you meet that you really like too. What about the lease? So what would be my expenses? Uh, so every everything is done weekly. So you get paid weekly still and you get percentage. You get paid 70% of the revenue and 100% of the fuel surcharge. And there'll be like the truck payment and insurance and physical damage insurance and things like that that come out of your Qualcomm. So there's a few expenses that way each week and it all settles up weekly. Same with your fuel. Your fuel surcharge, you get paid weekly and your fuel comes out weekly. So that'll kind of balance out. I don't know if you're how familiar you are with that, but it kind of helps compensate with the high cost of fuel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar so, with it. Good. I used to be an owner operator, so not everybody knows what, what the fuel surcharge really is. So, um, but yeah, they just kind of settle up everything weekly, the plates, permits, the whole bit, and it works out really nice. And you'll have it for a period of time. She's got several different leases. There's like three, four, five years, I think. Um, and the truck is just based on which truck you guys pick out between her and you. And then she'll set up the payment arrangements on that particular truck. So, you know, it kind of just depends on which truck it is and how long you stretch it out. Yeah, and they do first and last payment down, just so you know. So is this leasing to own or leasing yeah. to rent? It's purchased. Oh, oh so it's purchased. So this is purchased. So it's their balloon yeah. payment at the end of it? No, it's just you're just basically paying off the truck. Well, yeah. all right. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, do you guys offer yeah. any type of uh, uh, sign-on incentives? I do. Yeah. We have a $5,000 sign-on bonus and we also do $1,600 transition pay to help you get started. So the transition pay, you get 800 when you finish orientation. So you actually get a check the end of that week and then you get another 800 the next week. And then, and of course, then you start getting paid. Um, and then your sign-on bonus, you get a thousand dollars in 90 days, 1500 at eight months and 2,500 at 14 months. Cool. So we don't have to wait in eternity to get our whole five. No, out the deal, uh -uh. Huh? no. <laughs> and then quarterly, you get safety bonuses, too. It's like three hundred dollars a quarter for that, too. So pretty nice. Uh, well, that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Thank you very okay. much. Uh, you guys yeah, are located definitely. out of you guys are located out of Kansas City, right? Well, our our terminal you would go to and be working out of would be Kansas City, but um, that's where your dispatcher would be. But our headquarters is in Spokane, Washington. But for orientation, you can do the Kansas City one. Okay, Spokane, Washington, as in Washington yeah. State. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sighs> yep, yes. Family-owned company. They've been in business forever. I mean, gosh, system. Our flatbed side of it has been since like 1970. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're not huge, but we're a medium company, I'd say. You just said uh, flatbed side. So you guys other you guys got other divisions too, or I I only have flatbed out your direction, out in um, like Washington, Oregon, Idaho. We do some van, reefer, and tanker. 
So those are our smaller fleets. Flatbed is our biggest thing. Yeah, but if you ever moved out that way, you could always switch to one of those divisions too. Like our tanker side, they make really good money. They're a lot of chemicals and they run like Washington. They'll go into um, Portland or into Canada and back right up in that area. So those guys are home just about daily um, and make some very good money on it. But um, yeah, that'd be something if you ever moved up that direction later on, then you could switch over to it. And then same with the band and reefer, they like, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, the reefers will go to Canada, I mean, to California too, or to Western Montana. So it's kind of all out in that area, but there's like maybe about 50 tankers and probably a couple hundred, uh, band and reefers. Nah, nah, you, you, you can keep yeah. all of that. Um, <laughs> all you right. guys, you guys right. consider chain states? We do chain. But I mean, you're out there, so you know what the weather's doing. I mean, they watch the weather, so dispatch will know. But if you get into a situation where you do not feel safe running, you just got to communicate that to dispatch so they can do something either to reschedule or, or something on the load. As far as the flatbed load, I, I don't think I asked you this, but what are the uh -huh. what, what are the commodities that we'll be hauling? Sure. So it's general freight. So they do a lot of building supplies, machinery, equipment. The Midwest fleet does some railroad components like wheel chassis for trains. So that's kind of some cool stuff. Uh, overweight, heavy haul? No, not really. Um, our maxi fleet only runs up in like Washington, Oregon, Idaho. So that's our heavy haul fleet. Cool. Awesome system. Well, what I will do yeah. is uh, still keep this in my back pocket. I appreciate it. I Good will share sure. this. Uh, I will definitely share this information with uh, with my core group of drivers as well. Uh, oh, nice. So very I, good. I, I, I appreciate your honesty and your time. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so welcome. Would that be the same? Would that be the same link that I can share in my Facebook group? Yes, awesome. you sure can. Yep. That'll work. All right. Well, yeah, I, that works. And it goes right to me. If you do the application on there or if one of your friends does it on there, I'll be their recruiter because that one goes straight to me. Yeah. And then you can give them my number. So that way they can get in touch with me, too. And I'll help all I can. So we are looking for a few drivers out there in the Midwest. So that'd be great. All right. I will do that. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it was so nice talking with you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You have a great afternoon. All right, let's get into it. System transport, everybody. Out of Spokane, Washington. Yes, sir. The Washington State. The Chain State. The Cold State. Yes, sir. But if you're in the Midwest, like if you're in my area of Ohio and probably some of the uh, uh, neighboring states, you will probably be doing the regional. And if you are doing regional and if that's what you want to do, you will get home every week. And I do believe I, I would not I, I would not think any different, but you will be able to take the truck home. I'm not sure if you're going to be a, be going home with a load, but yes, you will be going home with the truck. So definitely have somewhere where you can park the truck. So as far as the pay scale goes, it is a sliding scale. So for you drivers that are familiar with those type of scale pays, the 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 less miles you run the more you get paid the more miles you run the less you get paid now am i a fan of that no <laughs> definitely not a fan of that and i know some drivers try to be like well i'm just gonna i'm just gonna uh calculate all of the slow i mean all of the small routes so that i can maximize my pay sometimes that don't work out as well <laughs> but if it does work out for you go for it new drivers yes they are looking for you straight out of school and yes they will train you for flatbed securement now by the sounds of it it don't sound like they do steel or anything of that matter 
so flatbed securement hopefully you will get it on the first couple of routes make sure that you do all of the orientation and the pre-employment uh stuff that you need to do so you can get in with the company and again if you are a new driver that's coming straight out of school they will bring you on so definitely look to our system transport flatbed for your next flatbed experience older drivers veteran drivers yes they are looking for you if you don't have flatbed experience she said that you can get in and it will be about a four day class to get the securement training maybe a little bit more you 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 never did flatbed before you never did flatbed so i i, I think you're going to need a, just a little bit more than four days to probably grab on and grasp what you need to do as far as flatbed as i said before flatbed is a young man's game but if you want to get out there and slap them chains and throw them straps i am all for it definitely you will also get paid for your tarping and you will get paid your other osorio pays as well they have medical dental vision 401k and all those other good benefits that you are looking for if you're interested in lease purchase they got that for you six months in and you're good and this is a purchase with no balloon payment system transport out of spokane washington the information will be in the description below to get a hold of this young lady right here which was a beautiful beautiful conversation thank you very much system transport recruiter for the awesome conversation drivers get your suggestions in now for the next mtc review all you have to do is hit me up in the gmail that is lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com as always leave it in the comment section below or if you'd like to support the call you can do that by hitting me up in the cash app and leaving the leaving the company you would like for me to review in the notes again thank you very much for listening i am lockout man and this is the mtc on the recruiter call channel until next time everybody who's next, 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 next.